Two decades ago, forest ecologist Suzanne Samard ushered in a paradigm shift in the way we understand trees. After years of research, she found that tree roots are linked by mycorrhizal fungi and vast underground networks through which they communicate, share nutrients, and transmit chemical signals. In this exchange of goods, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, water, hormones, older and stronger trees give to the younger and weaker so that the community benefits as a whole. Samar dubs the oldest, largest hubs in the forest network mother trees, who display behavior akin to parental nurturing, delivering nutrients to young seedlings, aiding ailing trees through sickness and distress, alerting others to threat by producing warning signals. The dominant scientific consensus of the time, rooted in Darwinistic hyper-individualism, viewed trees as discrete entities ruthlessly competing over scarce resources. Samard's research shook this perspective, reconceptualizing trees as symbiotic members of cooperative, interdependent social communities. Sometimes, survival favors not the fittest, but those who work together.